Hello out there to you. We've got this practice problem that's multiple choice. It says in the figure above, price is $4 per unit. How many units will a profit maximizing, perfectly competitive firm produce? Okay, so first thing to recognize, perfect competition, the firm cannot choose its own price. So they're just given the price. So in this case, he told us the price was 4 Okay. So we're right here, okay? And um, when the price is four, we follow this over to where uh, it hits marginal cost. So another thing about perfect competition is that price equals marginal revenue. So each additional unit that you sell is gonna give you an additional, in this case, $4. And we're gonna produce up until uh, marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Okay, so in this case, that quantity is five. If the price were $8, we'll follow that over to here, that will produce 20 units. If the price was $12, we'll follow that over to here where it's 30 units. If the price is $16, we'll follow that over here, and that's 35 units, okay? 20 would be somewhere out here, okay. Um, so the short answer of this is zero, but let's, let's see why here, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is put in the prices. So I see 4, 8, 12, 16. Okay, I've got this over here. Um, now when the price is 4, we would follow this. So we're going to produce 5 units. We're going to follow this up to where it hits average variable cost. And that's right about, right about halfway between there. So we'll round and call it 10. And then we'll follow this all the way up to where it hits average total cost, and that's going to be about 18. Okay, Total revenue we can find by multiplying 4 times our quantity off of our graph, which is 5, which is right there, is 20. Okay, And then total cost is going to be uh, average total cost times five in this case, because we can see it right there, okay? So I can actually make this a little bit wider. This will, this will give me profit, okay? So let's see what the profit would be. I'm gonna go uh, total revenue minus total cost, so the amount of money that the firm brings in from selling this product, and then minus the amount of money it costs that firm to produce it, okay? So they're gonna lose 70 bucks by producing it. Okay, let's do the next one. Um, Oh, well, let's, let's actually focus on the individual answer. So um, if, if the firm were to completely shut down, it wouldn't have to pay its uh, variable cost, right? So it would just have to pay its fixed cost. And the, the average fixed cost would be the difference between these two. So the, the average fixed cost, we could actually put, uh, hmm, we could put this as a little another column here. Let's do that right here. Make these guys a little bit smaller just so we can see it. Let's do average fixed cost. So average fixed cost is going to be uh, average total cost minus uh, average variable cost. Okay, because average fixed cost plus average variable cost has to equal average total cost. Okay, so that's going to be eight. So if they were if they were to do what's called shut down so they didn't produce any units at all okay then they're gonna have to pay those fixed costs and in this case the fixed costs are gonna be um, 8 times 5 which would be 40 okay uh, so then they would only lose 40 okay so I'd rather lose 40 than produce and lose 70 so that's why the answer is zero. Let's work out the rest just so we can see this relationship here. So when the price is eight, uh, now they're gonna produce 20 units and average variable cost is also eight. Okay, and then, did I do that right? I did that. Okay, we're gonna follow this up to here and that's not quite 14, we'll call that 13. Okay, let's just copy this all the way down. Okay, so uh, we could actually 
this little bit better. I'm going to multiply that by the quantity, which is 5. Um, next, I'll just copy this all the way down. We actually want to multiply all of this to give us our shutdown condition. I'm just going to multiply it by negative 1. Uh, next, if I go ahead and produce, so I probably could have had a column for, oops, column for quantity. That would have made this a little easier. So you could add a column for quantity right here. Let's actually do that. Why not? Q. Okay, so this one's 5, this one's 20, this one's 30, and this guy is 35. Okay, so this will make it a little smoother. So now I just go this times this. Get our total revenues all the way down. And then our average. Oh, we'll do. No, we'll, keep, we'll just keep doing. We'll do the rest of the table off the graph. Okay. So when we produce 30 units, average variable cost. We'll call that nine. And then average total cost is going to be 12. And then when we produce 35 units, we'll call that 1250. And then this is not quite 10, we'll call it 950. Okay. So if the firm, I think these are rounding a little bit. Um, if the firm were to go ahead and produce, we're going to multiply average total cost by the quantity. Okay, this gives us our total cost. And then our profit we can find by just copying that same formula right down there. And so this makes sense here, right? Um, well, actually, this part does not. Why does that part not make sense? Oh, because I'm still multiplying by 5. I need to multiply by 20. Yeah. Okay. So. That error. All right, so now we've got the table with the values coming off the, the graph that we've got there. Okay, so when the price goes up to $8, if the firm produces, they're going to lose $100. If they shut down, they're going to lose $100. So this is why this is known as the shutdown point, right? If the price goes above 8, then price will be higher than average variable cost and they won't lose as much because you can see breaking even is better than losing $15. And, and this is due to rounding here, but earning a profit is better than shutting down. Okay, so that's our shutdown there. So right at, right when the price is $8, they, they can choose whether or not to produce. Usually they will because in the future they want the price to go up, uh, or they hope the price will go up. Then uh, when the price goes up to $12, they're gonna produce 30 units. This is known as the break-even price right here. Okay, and anything above that, is going to be making a profit. So that's that's why the answer is zero, but there's a little bit more uh, right there. Basically, you've got a shutdown rule where when the price for perfect competition or monopoly um, is below average variable cost, they're, they're not contributing to the fixed cost, so they should go ahead and shut down. But any price higher than average variable cost, they can, they can contribute some to the fixed cost, and they should produce.